Welcome everyone. It's a good day. It's a good day that the Father made. You know, as, as we wake up every morning, let, let this be our attitude. Father, thank you. A, a heart full of gratitude because we're well. We have his life in us. We have absolutely everything we need that pertains to life. Everything you need that pertains to life, to godliness, is in us. It's in us. Let that be the meditation of your heart. Any time the enemy tries to, to come with any discouragement, I have everything in me. Uh, the solution of what's going on is in me. Thank you, Father. It's in me. I have it. I see it. I receive it. It's clear. You know, the Holy Spirit wants us with jealousy for himself. With jealousy. And with jealousy, he pursues every area. You know, he... Don't think that the, the Holy Spirit's this mellow, well, I guess. No, he's with jealousy. He pursues. He makes sure every situation we go through is to produce the fruit. Some, sometimes the circumstance is uncomfortable, the trials, but only because things need to be shaken off. Only because of that. Only be, So if you're going through a trial right now that it's, it, it, seems, it seems hard, ask him, what's the fruit? What do you want out of this, Lord? I want to I wanna line up with you here. I want my attitude, my emotions, my, the will, my mind to line up with what your purpose is through this. You'll see the rest that comes and the peace. Because as he shows you, you're just lining up and you're just walking knowing, thank you, Lord, for the fruit. Thank you for the fruit. It's going to be bountiful and it's going to feed many in the body. And it, it won't be just my, my fruit, it'll be the body's fruit. And others won't have to go through this because you're producing it here. So now I'm just going to release it to everyone. How, what an honor. What an honor that is. That the Father is building all this fruit in you, in us, so that others can benefit you know, someone next to you might be too weak to handle. Maybe their soul has been through so much and they can't handle all that, all that trial. So the father says, but guess what? Sephora can. Sephora, I'm going to produce this fruit in you that's going to be so amazing. It's going to feed so many. And you, I got it in you. I got it. What an honor that is. I see it as such an honor that the Father says, I want you. I want to walk through you. I want you to represent me. I want all this fruit in you so others can eat of it. Let's look at trials this way. Let's look at what you go through this way. Not a burden, not, oh, great, another thing. No, Father, what is this now? Show me. I trust you. I trust you so much that, yes, let's do this. If you say I'm ready and if you say this is good, you only give good and you're only good, then okay. Then that means what's inside of me is ready. What you formed so far is ready to, to move up, to move on, to take the next step. And I trust you. Amen? This is our attitude. This is how we go through life. And if there are things that, you know, you, you go through and you're like, okay, Lord, well, I screwed up here. That's okay. You get up. He's just like that, quickly to forgive and say, okay, let's move on. Don't dwell there. That's not your place. Let's move on. Let's take on the next step. You are a new creation, born of me, born from above. Let's get up and let's move on. Amen? Amen. All right. Testimonies this morning. I want to hear from you. I want to see the fruit. I want to I wanna eat of it. I want to, you know, it's not, it, nothing's too small. It might be something that you think, oh, this is not such a big deal. No, it is. It is for the body. Others hear it, and they want it. So, Seth, yes. Um, I shared this testimony with some of my sisters, so they'll hear it again. But um, uh, a trial that I went through recently that um, the Lord gave me victory. So I was experiencing, this was like a couple weeks ago, so anyway, kind of uh, cold symptoms, just really bad neck pain and stiffness that began settling in and just made it very difficult and painful, you know, could barely move and um, went to sleep, you know, and slept very fitfully, not rest, woke up super early because it's like, I can't sleep, I'm not resting, what's the point? Took care of some stuff and then I came to a point later that morning, so this was like a day later, right after the symptoms had started to 
express themselves and get worse. And I had, I had spoken to my body. I had commanded it, hey, pain, you have no right here. Jesus bore all of this. You're not allowed to be here, go. So I had done that and then kind of sat back to wait. I, I sort of, without realizing, took more of a passive attitude. Yes, I commanded, but then my position was sort of like, um, still a victim, still like, okay, with, you know, leave already, you know, kind of like if someone's bullying you, like, okay, stop, like, will you go? Like, I told you, leave me alone. So it was kind of, just kind of, eh, you know, and the Holy Spirit kind of was working in my heart and saying, you know, sort of the idea, like, if you want anything to change, you change, because everything reacts to you. You set the tone. And so through that, I, in that morning, I was preparing for, for worship practice, and so I was kind of in that mentality, and the Holy, the Holy Spirit kind of brought that idea to my heart, and I was like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to worship the Lord. I'm going to praise the Lord. So first, I started on the couch. I was sitting on the couch, and I had finally found a position, because when you're in pain, you, you don't realize you're tense the whole time, and you're never resting. So I'd finally found a position where my head was like, oh, and I could feel that relief, you know, like, okay, okay, and I was... I was, you know, singing along to the song and, uh, that I had, you know, put on my phone. And, and that kind of stirred some stuff up. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. And then I put the second one on. And uh, the second one is if, Holy Forever, a, a new one that's, that's out right now. And I just got into it. And I was like, you know what? Forget this. What am I doing sitting here? And I, was, I, I chose in that moment to be a, no longer a victim but proactive. And so I used that song, and I just worshiped the Lord. I didn't care about the pain in my neck. And I actually, as I was singing, I would like, like violently like twist my neck intentionally to go against it because of the, otherwise the pain is like, oh no, be careful. You don't want to bend too far. And I was like, you know what? Nothing is going to limit me from praising and worshiping the Lord. And I just sang with all my might, with all my strength. I, I told the sister, I jumped on the couch at one point. And I was like, because there's a lyric in the song that goes, your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name is uh, above every throne, dominion. And I was like, I'm up here in Christ, this pain, these symptoms, you're all down here. There's no greater name than the name of Jesus. And I just got into the worship of the Lord and I, I magnified the Lord, I amplified the Lord, I made the Lord bigger in my heart and in my mind and just went for that. I didn't do it as a tool to get rid of the pain. I just kind of made that decision shifting from uh, to like, no, the Lord is great and he's worthy of praise regardless of the circumstance that I'm in. And so I did that and I'm, I'm telling you, like it, it diminished by like 99%. And by the time I showed up that morning, yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, his resurrection life and power. And by the time I got here that morning for practice, man, I was like, I was a chipmunk. I was just like, woohoo, you know, like when I had woke up that morning, like, ugh. And just a reminder for all of us, because we need it sometimes. You, 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 we can't be both a king and a victim at the same time. Think about that. You can't be a king and a victim at the same time, right? If, if intruders and invaders come into a king's country and, you know, the king, hey, you got people on your territory, the king is not like, well, huh, you know, no, it's his position, it's his authority, it's his attitude that he takes, listen, we've got to take care of this, I set the tone, I as a king, and, and so it was just a reminder, like, in my heart, I have, to, I have to finalize a decision, who am I, at my core, who am I, am I a victim, or am I a king, and if I'm a king, then I have to act accordingly, which means not only the fun benefits, the power, because we like that part of kingship, woohoo, you know, but the responsibility. That means I have a responsibility as a king to kick these intruders out of my territory, to kick them out of my land, which in this case was the pain and the, the physical symptoms and the discouragement that came with it, right? So I guess the fruit I'm giving you is praise is a weapon. Whatever you amplify and magnify gets bigger, and naturally, out of that, the lesser junk gets stomped on and overcome, and that we have the power to choose. Am I a king? Am I a victim? And we are kings, but sometimes we need to be reminded it's still our will. We still have to choose our will and say, this is who I am. I line up with that, and I act accordingly. I think accordingly. I speak accordingly. There's a, a resistance, right? Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee, and um, that that resistance is proactive. 
And just one more thought, like, we are in rest, we are in Christ, right? I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm saved, I'm in Christ, this is my position, but the enemy comes with symptoms to try to, like, push you off of your position where you already are. Our job, my part as, as being in Christ, is to resist him. And that's proactive, right? Like lifting weights. Okay, I have a weight in my hand. The weight falls. Okay. No, the, 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 the strengthening comes when you resist the weight, right? The weight is pushing you down. The pain is pushing you down. The trial is pushing you down. In resisting it is where the strength is built, in the pushing back. So it's not works. It's just maintaining your position of rest in Christ. And that is a proactive, not a passive uh, activity that I was reminded of with praise and worship. Got to get her going. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. That's amazing. Thank you, Seth. That's great fruit. Yes, we'll eat of that. Um, you know, as far as the Lord is concerned, the enemy has been defeated, right? And as she said, it's just, do we know that? How much do we know that? And that's where the, the walking comes in. How much do you know that what you're going through right now, he's been defeated. So I'm training you as a king, as a priest, in every area. So you will see that um, if, if certain things pop up in your soul, um, that you see it, you know, he's going to work with you on that. Even if, even if, let's say, you think you failed in that moment, he's going to revisit that. <laughs> He's faithful like that. He will revisit it and say, no, let, let's try again. We'll do this again. You are a king in here as well. This area is yours to rule over. And you know, it comes a time when you'll see the enemy from far away. You, you won't even have been able to be able to come near you and try and shove you or hit you. Or you'll see it from far away because your dominion that you live in is so much greater. Think of Jesus. Just think how he walked. And he said, greater things will you do because, well, he's in us now. Nothing could touch him. The enemy had nothing in him. And that's what he's building in us to where we can faithfully, surely, unmovable say, the enemy has nothing in me. The enemy has nothing in me. And if he even tries, I'm going to see it from far away because I'm above and I see this way. This is how I see. I don't see this way. Oh, my gosh. I see this, I see the whole picture. I see him trying that way. Oh, no, you're not coming. Nothing's going to surprise us anymore. Amen? That's how we walk.